fuck. Ah! Our videos are not gonna be filmed. Wait, that doesn't make sense. I lifted it higher so it dropped her heads off more. Oh. Okay. How do you start a YouTube video? I don't know how to start a YouTube video. So we are doing a research project this summer. <laughs> um, and at the end of it, we're going to Afropunk Festival mm -hmm. in Brooklyn. So we went shopping today for makeup essentials because you gotta look good at Afropunk because everyone's beautiful. True. We went to Main Beauty Supply and Walgreens um, and we got a, so lot many more, things. a lot more stuff than we planned. So we figured we'd do some type of a haul, a slash haul. first impressions. Yeah, we're gonna try stuff on. Yeah. For so. you, our viewer, fanship. <laughs> It's just gonna be Rachel. It's gonna be Rachel. <laughs> okay. Okay. Do you wanna start? Sure. Okay, I'm gonna start with lipstick. The thing I knew I wanted was like an oil slick colored lipstick or something bold, but I didn't really have that. So I got this like really dark purpley matte color. Cause I'm hoping it'll look like that like Rihanna nearly black lip color. Oh yeah. Here we go. It feels so nice. Okay, so I like this color. I don't really like the consistency. I think if I have like a dark purple lip liner underneath it, it'll turn out okay, but this I'm not as excited about, which is weird because I have it in another color and I really like that color, but I don't know. I think maybe because my lips are so pink, if it's not opaque, it starts to look patchy, but we'll see. Definitely need another coat or something to really get the color the way I want, but we tried, $1.99. So, and I knew because it's matte and liquid, it'll like last for all day. Oh God, I'm destroying my lips right now. Oh no. <laughs> Is this sexy? Yeah, you gotta commit to this color. If you decide to put it on, <laughs> you can't change your mind halfway through the day. So that's my first thing. Very excited. It's like $1.99 also. Yeah, all this stuff was like super cheap. Like, I think the, the most expensive thing I got was the hairspray, it was like, yeah. Five dollars? Yeah. I think I spent five ninety nine the most expensive thing. Yeah, okay. So I will do I really oh I didn't even take off the plastic. We'll probably do a close-up, but this is it's like a blue, it's called Blue Valentine. Oh, I love that movie. I've it never, destroyed me. I've so never good. seen the movie, but it's I so good. want to. So we should watch it. It's a matte lipstick. It's called it's flat velvet. That sounds Which cool. sounds, and it look like the packaging is really cool too. LA Girl? I've heard of LA Girl. Yeah. I have too. I've seen other YouTubers, other YouTubers. I've seen YouTubers. <laughs> yeah, we're YouTubers now. <laughs> Talk about um, that brand. But yeah, so this is my first thing. I really, I knew I was gonna, I needed a blue lipstick. I'm a little nervous. I hope I don't get it everywhere. I'm a little nervous. Ooh. Whoa! Ooh. Wow, I feel like an alien. I love this. Oh my I god. I really love this color. I think I'll probably... I probably need a uh, liner just so that I can get it more precise. Um, but I really like this color and I think it'll be really cool at Afro Pump. It's pretty matte too, but it feels moisturizing. It feels more like a chapstick or like a lip balm. It's so cool. I was afraid it was gonna look weird on. But it, doesn't, it doesn't though. Look that weird. I mean, like not, not every day. Definitely not every day. Mm -hmm. But like most days, maybe. Um. Okay. The next thing I got is not necessarily for Afro Funk, but I was really excited about it because I needed a new like brow thing, something to do my brows with, and I like pencils just because they're easier. But this is a brow marker, which hopefully will like stay on longer, and it looks like it's gonna be a good color match for me. So I'm excited to try this. I, we were at a party we like last week and Amy came up to me and was like, your brow, <laughs> my brow was like dripping Melt on melted. my face. This is like really easy to apply. It feels like refreshing. Plot twist. <laughs> kind of hard to apply actually. <laughs> 
Is anything coming out? Oh my god. Yeah! Okay. And Hopefully it's sweat proof. Yeah, they can dance and party and not lose my brows. <laughs> Everybody sweats! <laughs> um, then the next thing I knew I needed for Afropunk was a white eyeliner. I think we both got yeah. the same brand. Um, it's a long wear waterproof gel eyeliner. And this one, it's like, it goes on really smooth. Yeah. It's like very pigmented. It looked really good in the store and on my hands. So yeah. I'm very excited about this. That's gonna be good. You can do like really cool face stuff with it. Face yes. stuff. Yes. I know what I'm talking about. All the face stuff. I love everyone's eyeliner face. Mm, see, this is where I kind of wanted a liquid. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that might be easier. Ooh, you're so good at drawing wings. That looks really cool. Maybe I'll, I'll do like my waterline. Definitely opens your eyes. Okay, maybe you don't need as much as I put on, but it looks cool. Yeah, I like I'm excited it about it. The next thing, I think we both got this too, Yes, is a mascara that looks just like the Benefit Their Real Mascara, but I think that is like $23.99. This was like, like $2. Yes, and like it's not just the packaging, like the brush looks exactly the same. So I am, you can't see that from there, but I am very excited to try this out. Yeah, I'm pumped. Yeah. Because I've been using like the same, you know like that trick where if you get, if your mascara kind of dries up, but yeah. it does saline mm -hmm. I've yeah. been doing that, but like I've done that trick with the same mascara like three different times. That's it's impressive. Because it's dried up and yeah. it like works, but I feel like I need a yeah. new one. Cool. I love this style of brush. It's like the bristles on the end make it really easy. To like get your inner corner and outer corner. I like that. It's like natural too, it doesn't look too heavy. I don't remember, I haven't used their real in so long, but I mean, it seems like a pretty good dupe. I'm gonna do the other eye really quickly. This smells funky. Ugh, <laughs> <laughs> Oh no. What does it smell like? Like paint. Like house paint. Ugh. What am I putting on my face? Who knows? I'm happy with this one ninety nine mascara. <laughs> I didn't need this. It's so I have nice a lot though. of other like mauve lipsticks, but this is a matte matte <laughs> lipstick. <laughs> uh, RK by Kiss, and it's oh, it's called Mauve It. I like those mauve. <laughs> I like to mauve it, mauve it. It's but, so nice though. Yeah, I feel like that's like my go-to color. Yeah, and I, I really want I had like I have like a liquid lipstick that's kind of like this. So I wanted one that was not liquid. Because I there there are sometimes I just don't want liquid lipstick. I want like I a normal lipstick. It's a little bit more purple mm. than I anticipated, but I don't hate it. Maybe it'll dry a little bit more matte, but it's not super matte. Um, but I like the color. It's not like very bright. I feel like it's, um, I don't know, wearable. It, it feels nice on. So that's the main criteria, honestly. Okay, the next thing I got. So I've been wanting like a new eyeshadow palette that had warm tones. Cause I used to always go for like very cool, like taupe colors. But lately I've been loving like gold shades, but I don't have that many. And this looks just like the Too Faced palettes. It has like the sexy names and everything. So I picked this up called Better Naked. And the colors look so nice. I already swatched a little bit on my hand earlier and they're really, really pigmented. It was only like five Wait, what's the name? Ah, there's birthday suit. Yeah, my favorite is Stark Naked. I think I'm gonna use that color a lot. But yeah, I'm very excited. And it's so like compact. It's really easy yeah, to travel it's, with. it's not like a large palette. Yeah. Eyeshadow palette. I'm just gonna do like a quick thing. Uh, okay, I'm gonna take some of that. Oh God. I'm not using any eyeshadow base, so we'll see how that works out. This color's look nice so far. It's really pigmented. They blend really nicely too. I 
think these colors are going to work really well for me. I Sometimes like them. I like struggle to find colors that work as like just a base because I feel like most eyeshadow palettes are made for lighter skin tones. So with everything is like too light, like the base colors. But I think this is going to work well. I'm just going to define my crease a little bit. So those were like really easy to apply and they look really pigmented from what I could tell. So it blended really nicely and I'm really happy with the color selection. So yay. This, okay, so this I got not at the beauty supply store. I got this at Walgreens. This brand is the reason why we launched to go to Walgreens. Um, this is a black owned business. It's called Black Radiance. Um, and I've been looking for like a contour kit that, cause the one that I have is really pale and it doesn't really match my skin tone yeah. very well. Um, they did have a contour kit, but I did get like a concealer stick that's like a different shade than mine, so hopefully this will be good for contour. I have a good feeling about it. Yeah, and it's... I also just trust your ability with makeup, you know? <laughs> like, I feel like that would be more... I feel like you have more faith in this <laughs> than, I, than I probably should have. I don't know what the name of this what shade. Oh, it's called Dark slash Ponce. Ponce. Is that fancy? I think it's in French. No, it's probably French. <laughs> Okay, so this is definitely not my shade, but mm -hmm. I'm using it as a contour stick. So hopefully... Oh, it's pretty dark. It's really creamy. It's not like super soft though. Mm -hmm. So maybe that's okay. Hopefully it blends out well. Okay, I think I put a little bit too much on the side, but mm -hmm. I really like this actually, because it's definitely darker than the contour kit that I have right now, um, but it still looks pretty natural. So I'm a fan. Yay! And yeah, I really like this brush. <laughs> um, so I got something from that range too. I got a BB cream in the color Coffee Glaze. Can we talk about the fact that all dark shades are edible? Even the black owned beauty brands. You can't eat me. I'm not a snack. I'm not toast. Or caramel. I, that's always my shade. Or mocha. Toast. <laughs> At least I mocha's get, good. Yeah, toast like toast is, is just the blandest yeah. flavor. But this is a BB cream with SPF 15 and I wanted one that didn't feel necessarily like sunscreen because I tend to get ones that have higher SPF and it just feels like we're in sunscreen which I don't love. So I'm hoping this will do that. And it, the shade looks like a pretty good match. The color looks a little dark. I'm kind of nervous. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm not glazed. What is the glazed copy? That's not horrendous. Did it make me look like I tanned? Like I tried to self tanner and it went wrong? No, you just look sun kissed. Ooh, I really like the way this finished. I think it has a nice, like, very natural look to it. I think it might be a little dark, but that'll work. And then I got, um, also from Walgreens, I got from a different, from the Queen collection from Color Girl, Queen Latifah. I got a CC cream. I got a shade that might be my shade, hopefully. What's it called? Uh, Golden Honey. Uh, I will say Again. I like coffee glaze. Like, that coffee sounds, sounds nice. nice. It's like an ice cream. But this, I mean, I don't like, I don't like full on foundations so much anymore because I, I don't really need full coverage, yeah. but I do like to have more like even skin tone, so I, hopefully this will be a good match for my skin. I also didn't need this because I have I have brushes and stuff, but I don't have this kind. I don't have this kind because <laughs> I've been seeing so many tutorials with like the actual. I don't know what the actual brand is. It's expensive as fuck. Um, but it's like five billion dollars to get, <laughs> and I don't have that kind of money. So this one was like three dollars, and. I mean, it feels really soft. Ooh, goddamn. Yeah. It's like thick too. It feels, it doesn't feel like individual bristles. It feels mm -hmm. like, like a sponge. Yeah, it feels nice. Cause I tend to apply my like face makeup with sponges now and, and not brushes, but I feel like that brush I would use. I feel like I've seen like, they compare the cheaper version with the, the other version. I feel like this is the one that they usually compare it with. It's like the Magic Collection brand. And they tend to be like fairly similar yeah. as a dupe, like. <laughs> the moment of truth. I'm so excited. 
Ooh. Yeah, I think it's a good color match. Yeah, for sure. Ooh, so that I looks think really nice. really good. And I love this. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be a bitch to clean. But <laughs> yeah. it's worth it because it, it also, it looks so like, like you can't see any streaks or anything. Yeah. But I feel like even with my beauty blender, you can tell that it like is makeup. Yeah. Where this feels very natural. It just looks like your flawless skin. I think I might have to go back and get the bigger version of this as well, because this might be too small for a foundation, mm -hmm. but it's perfect for the, the contour <laughs> stuff. I really like this, because um, it's not it's definitely not too thick, and mm. um, it looks natural and like not like powdery, yeah, <clears throat> which I have had a problem with in the past, so yes. Yay! Yes, Kayla yeah. And the last thing I have, we both got this too, is a coconut oil lip gloss. Wow, <laughs> that was too enthusiastic. Which Amy got this last time we were there, and I tried hers on and was really upset. It's really that I didn't get it because it was only a dollar. And, and then I lost so good. And then I lost mine, so yeah. I had to get another one. Shine without stickiness. Although it is so kind sticky. of sticky. I have it on uh, right now. I mean, lip gloss, lip gloss is always sticky, yeah. so. And I feel like for me in the winter, I have trouble with like my lips peeling. And I remember putting this on instantly, just kind of like it moisturizes and moisturizes. And moisturizes. Yeah. I usually don't wear it like during the day. I'll put it on like right before I go to bed. Mm, that sounds nice. And then it'll moisturize my lips overnight. Like, wake up with luscious lips. Okay. I got this so hairspray. Mostly because It's My Ray Ray has like the most beautiful hair tutorial stuff. And she's always have, she always has these like giant like puffs with um, pink and purple hairspray and I just want to be her so <laughs> I got this high beams intense temporary spray on hair color and punky purple I like oh that's perfect okay. I'm nervous what if I how do I do this okay is it pointed at the god that smells like ass <laughs> oh, it's color so though. Yes. I just want to be a Spy Ray Ray. It's cute. Oh, I, I like think it. I can just imagine the, my little puffs. Mhm. Mm How does it like feel in your hair? Um, it's a little crunchy. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but that's like to be. It's kind of. I mean, it's like hairspray. But I like the color, it's like subtle enough, but you can definitely see that it's purple. Mm -hmm. Especially because I lightened my hair a little bit at the ends. This looks like a look. This is a look. It is a look, <laughs> I like it. I don't know what look it is, but is it a look? Hey, is that it? I think so. So we'll probably have more videos, hopefully, if we stick to this. Um, there's a very good chance we're gonna go back to this beauty supply store and get more stuff that we don't yeah. need, so we <laughs> might, we might, film like mm -hmm. uh follow Part up. Two. Um I feel like what's gonna happen is we're gonna figure out our outfits and then I'll be like, I don't have what I need. I need this shade of eyeliner and yeah. So maybe we also might do like a clothing packing yeah outfit thing. We can even do a video of us figuring out our outfits, you know? Like this is in my closet. What can I do with it mm -hmm. to make it after fun? Yeah. So we don't really know, but <laughs> uh here we go. Yeah. Thanks for watching this. Woo! Maybe we'll upload more. Okay, bye! <laughs> Does YouTube have like buzzer things for like language? No, right? Freedom of speech. Right? I think, I don't think it is, this our channel is gonna be family friendly. Mm -hmm.